YouTube, good morning as well. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. What's up, what's up, what's up? How's it going? I need to put a shout out in here. All right, there we go. Yeah, so we're looking pretty good. It's Monday, it's the last day of the month. So of course we're looking to end it off with one green day. Is that possible? I think so. But I will say that our scans here today are very soft. Not really seeing a lot that's looking very good. You know, things are looking a little on the softer side. So, uh, and I see Marcelo already posted here and he does have ALR. CHNR and AURC potential continuation. TUP, which I didn't look at. I'll take a quick look at TUP. Yeah, you know what? This one here actually does not look bad. I, I think I want this on my watch list. Let's see. I'll have to figure out where I want to put it. CHNR. Okay. ALLR. All right. I think, yeah, so I think I'll put it over here. TUP. I haven't had the best time with TUP, but I, I think, uh, you know, it's worth having on the watch list at the very least. So I'm going to write it up and we'll put some trend lines. Write up the list. So this is like a bit of a, a, a less detailed watch list, right? A little later into the day, just in case there's something else that pops up. Right, for those of you in MMU as well, of course. And it's not in percentage order, just keep a heads up. SoFi, you know, a bit of a higher float stock. I think earnings or something like that. Um, some people might be interested in that. So I'll put it on here. Yeah, so those are the couple that I'm looking at. And again, it, it seems pretty soft. You know, so we'll just have to see what what kind of moves. Whenever the watch list is this soft, I always want to proceed with caution. I don't want to be overly aggressive. I don't want to just jump in onto something and, and you know, end up with some big red trades. So the key here will be, you know, to be patient into the open, wait for one of these stocks to really just take off. And then from there, I can, you know, try and be a little bit more aggressive. So for those of you on YouTube, as you're tuning in, hit that thumbs up. And here we go. So we got ALLR 379 for the highs. It's been consolidating down here. And we've had previous lows around 322. So I'd hope we can curl up off this level. So far, we are seeing a small green candle, which is great. So let's see. Looking at the daily chart. Seems like we've been selling off for quite some time. Going back to July 6th, uh, we had a sell-off, right? July 5th and 6th, we kind of had a high point of 1349 and sold off. So the high point of that sell-off was 398, which, you know, we're kind of in proximity. I think that's a, a fair level to keep an eye on, 398. And then I'll go from there. We'll see how it does. You know, these type of stocks, if we can get a bounce, it's great. But if not, you know, it's kind of also okay. The, the low of that big green candle was 564, which I also think is, is, you know, not a decent area to watch if it's to get going. At, at least 564, you know, if this stock moves up, can we see 564? Is that possible? Uh, you know, that's a great target. If this gets up there, you know, it's close to 100% move. You know, what more do we need, right? So ALR, we'll see. <laughs> CHNR, on the other hand. So this one started in after hours on Friday. 
we had a high point of 354 and right now the volume has been very light it's just been pulling back so you know we'll see the low here we got around 273 you know i'd hope it holds up this level we could continue higher um, but you know again we'll have to be patient so looking at the daily chart on this one we can go to single screen here we got some candlesticks back in april what's this a april you know 27th you know a couple of higher wick candles 28th and i'd say this is essentially you know for me like a double top although it's not super close 77 and 90 you know what i'd like to do in this case is just to you know slap the trend line right dead in the middle so about 84 you know somewhere there just to remind me hey or let's say like 82 83 like it, it's not one particular price point but more so like hey this zone here could be trouble so just to keep an eye out if the stock gets closer and from there you know we kind of see but yeah but besides that you know going back to may it looks like we rejected the 200 ema over there there's also this small high point right here around 441 some people might watch it not a lot of volume but you know still something to keep an eye on 441 going back to about february 17th or so and then again we rejected the 200 in may so may 14th we double topped at 620 620 double top and 675 was a high point at that time yeah so this looks decent and if we can get going again it just comes down to the patterns that we're seeing you know we can, we can be patient and then get aggressive from there and then try and you know move forward tup which is the third stock i'm watching at my top stocks first i'm going to start by get, getting rid of a few trend lines because this is looking a little just a little crazy all right much better even this one here i think pre-market highs from yesterday or let's say friday can stay i'll put that in blue the 200 ema are we still at the same price 46 yeah so we'll just edit this to 46 i'd expect everybody who was watching tup to still have the chart marked up because you know there's no reason to get rid of those previous trend lines but yeah we have 366 going up and then 375 pre-market high of friday and high of day of thursday of last week looking at the daily chart we're in a very crucial area we definitely want to see this pushing up above you know 375 if that could happen that'll be really good and there might be something here you know for some big continuation you know looking at the daily chart you know can we get to let's see like you know 450 you know we're, we're at 330 right now we get to the highs can we see break of four right once we get over four 450 five 550 that's the type of pace and energy that you would want to see out of this type of stock and then as the two minute warning is coming up you know as i mentioned sofi s-o-f-i and then f-o-x-o f-o-x-o a little cheaper at, at 28 cents f-o-x-o I'm going to also keep an eye on this one in case it does get going. Sometimes these cheaper stocks are the better stocks, you know, not always, but sometimes. We have traded this one in the past. It's been selling off. And, you know, to be honest, if this can get up to 50 cents, I think that'll be great. 52. If you guys check out the daily chart on June 21st, we had a high point of 52. Green candle, bit of a topping wick. You know 52 is a decent area a good target if this gets up to one dollar 150 then it's going to be more than likely an excellent day but i'm not going to set that as the expectation once again sofi i believe was earnings and this one is up a little bit uh so you know we'll see how it does i'm not sure if i'll trade it but let's say the small cap stocks are dead and this is the only thing moving and it's moving well you know, maybe there's something here, but it might be moving like XPEV or one of the other ones where the float is a little higher. So top three stocks, ALLR, CHNR, and TUP. AURC, uh, you know, it's at $50. I mean, the volume is going to be lighter. I don't know if I'll be getting involved there. 
So into the open, I guess I'll watch ALR and then rotate from there. So remember guys, of course, with a disclaimer that day trading is risky. Remember a lot of people do have a hard time trading. If you're new and you're not consistent, or if you've been around and you're not consistent, it's best to use a simulator where you can practice trading the live market with artificial currency, or at the very least use risk money, money that if you lose it all right here, right now, it will not affect your livelihood or your lifestyle. Let me put on one of these, let me put on one of these chains for good luck. Knocking everything over. Yeah, it'll not affect, uh, you know, if you use risk money, you're not going to lose money as you learn how to trade. So, you know, be smart about it. Don't be crazy because you heard, you know, Bob at work made 50K on AMC. All right, he got lucky. They always tell the good stories, never the bad ones. Remember that I do not invest money for my subscribers. And lastly, do not try to copy trade me. It is a recipe for disaster. So ALLR, low of 25 and high of 45. It's pretty active. I might start throwing out some shares here pretty soon. Or maybe not, right back down. It's fighting at the lows, it's fighting. Do I take a starter here? Scratch trade, I might get back in. You know what? Let's ease off, yeah. Well, a little bit of something there, but not much. TUP, I'm also keeping an eye on here. Like, you know, is this one going to start moving? And this is a whole lot of shares I'm trading here for a whole lot of nothing. There's some bids coming in on TUP, but you know, I'll pull out the screen when I can. Are, are we going to get going here? Good green. It's not going up fast enough. And we do have overhead resistance potentially. 45. So we're right at the 200. I want to see how it's going to act here. I might need to ease off and then get a little bit more aggressive once we get above the level. But I like that we've been seeing some huge bids coming in. There have also been some big sellers. Not one of those bugs again, man. There's this insect that's out, outside screaming. I don't think the mic will pick it up. Check. Okay, good. For those of you watching on YouTube, be sure to hit the thumbs up. By the way, let me pull this on to the actual scan of clocking. There we go. TUP, we have a topping wick, but there are huge bids here. The five minute candle still does look good, but the 200 EMA is up there. So I'm contemplating if I want to get long here. If I see too much selling pressure, I think I might just continue to wait. We do have VWAP below us. So some overhead resistance, some a little bit of support down below. I'm going to take a small entry here just to see what it does. Um, okay. 
pulling back a little too much. There's a couple of halted ones being mentioned on the scans. YELL. A I X I. I haven't seen that one. Let me see. Volume mirrors not it not existent. GDRX, maybe. I gotta be careful this level two us here. Might just take it off, I don't know. Come on. Is there a mosquito in here? Of course, losing trade. I like size up. 25. It's struggling. Can we get some more buyers? No. I think there's a mosquito in here. Cheese Louise. Every time. Okay, so scratch trades there. Uh, give it one more shot here. Higher pill, fine. Yeah, higher pill is not good. I was aiming for five. I'll take it. I'll take the loss. Yeah. It might hold up here, but the higher fill wasn't good, and our five minute count was starting to fail. So, this type of stock wasn't nothing. Like, if it was strong, it would have been at 850 already, right? So, that's okay to go back to flat. The main thing is to try and get the stock that's going to keep going, right? Because then we can keep making profits. If the stock is going to pull back, then we will also pull back. ALR below VWAP, maybe an ABCD, but you know, can we see some more volume? Maybe I sized down, I'm thinking, because nothing is looking good. You know, I thought maybe we'd have had a chance of a surprise stock early, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So I'm going to size down and just. Take it easy, take it slow. We might have to wait till 10 o'clock or something. FOXO, GDRX, GDRX, so disappointing. You know, you get a nice move from eight. So SOFI, maybe that's the one to watch. Mm, big float. So I think small size is a smart move for me on this one here, at least now. And then I can size up once I get a good rhythm. 
I've already missed a couple of entries. I forgot about the one that was halted. Um, Y E L L. How did it do? Forgot about it. Completely forgot about it. Aye, aye, aye. Looks good. Looks decent. Pastor is always late to the show. 11. Five minute candles red, so maybe it needs to pull back. A bigger pullback. You guys will see that I'm more so leading towards the cheaper stocks, smaller uh, float. So, like, while SoFi is good, you know. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Yo, these spills. These spills are all out of this world, but that's alright. No hesitation, and we'll get better fills. Okay. So we ha we're having a five minute pullback. There's three minutes left. You know, are we likely to curl back up here? 10, 15. I, I think so far it's looking all right. I'm not holding that position because I have such a poor fill. Uh, so I'll have to scalp it, like always. It doesn't seem like I get can get a good trade at the lows these days. Time, 42. It's getting active because there's buyers coming in. Do not tight it might tight it might go down here. What time is it? There's a minute left, so it's like it should be pushing. Um we'll see. Maybe it needs a more of a pullback, but this is this is this is not looking great. Oh, there's shares to short. I honestly was expecting no fill, but let's see what this does. It's not this is okay, we'll see.
I'm short, and I'm waiting to see if it breaks down. If not, tight stops as always. So I'm buying the stock, hoping for it to go down here. And there's even more sellers. Maybe I add into this this break of this level. And can we get new lows quickly? Or did I just ruin my cost basis? Come on down. The price is right here. One more big flush. And the faster will be out. Yeah, I'm going to have to put on some long pants because... 16. There's the selling. And even when you go short, you get the worst possible fill still. Which is interesting. All right, at least I got myself back to flat with that. So fly high day. Come on, so like, come on, come on, come on. Take us to the moon here. Um, okay, let's get this off the screen and do a rotation. There's nothing that is looking good. I mean, besides maybe SoFi, right? Okay, GDRX did push up again. Maybe I keep a close eye on this one. TUP. I mean, it is curling up. But is it worth it? That other stock, I should have just held my initial position. Not add it. And just wait for the breakdown. TUP forty five was the level. I do have smaller size, right? There's not much going on, so I'm just, you know, I'm just chilling out. I think we're basically scratch. Let's see, where are we? Or yeah, we're basically scratch. So we're just being patient for something. Maybe again, you know, 10 a.m., 10.30. How about uh, this cheaper one? Oh, yeah. This went down. I forgot. FWAC for the halt. I'll check it out. I'll try not to miss this one like I did the last one because, you know, maybe that could have been the good green that we were looking for. I don't usually forget about the resumptions, but I, I don't know. It just went right out of my mind. Okay. 
so TUP, are we seeing like a cup here and a handle formation, or is this just getting ready to sell off? WAC man, that price range and with that volume, I don't know. I traded so many shares on this stock just now. And I, I think maybe sellers uh, was the issue, but a lot of buying, a lot of big bids and just couldn't, couldn't get going. So again, we are in proximity to the 200 EMA over here. I mean, what a start to the day, right? Some people will shut it down. They wouldn't even stick around. MYMD, is it worth looking at? Maybe, right? Where is it? Where is it? Come on. Maybe it's worth looking at. I'm just going to throw out a starter just to see. I don't know. Like stops as usual. Just to see, right? Just to see. Nothing wrong with seeing. So 48, 49. Well, that's not what I want to see. Are we tested the lows here? Are we going to hold up? There's a small seller 52. Didn't think it was a problem, but I could have came out early if I wanted to. There's a 10,000 share seller 52, but I consider that small size. So can we get bought up here? There's an excessive amount of selling. So yeah, I'll take another twenty dollars scratch trade. FWAC, the volume would need to be extremely high here. It seems like it might resume at seventeen and some change, but I, I don't know for sure. The resumption was at fifty. Was it ten minutes? Yeah, it's a 10 minute halt. <laughs> this momentum, man. Where is the momentum? The bulls are sleeping here today. But, you know, in all seriousness, you know, these are the days to just take it slow. For me, again, I'm trying to stick to some smaller size. Just in case, even if I do end up taking a loss, it's not really like a big loss. And then once the stock does start to really just, you know, take control and just keep going, that's where I want to like put out the volume. CHNR. You know, I said earlier I was going to put on this chain for good luck, but uh, I forgot that luck doesn't exist here, right? 
what gives us the ability to become profitable is hard work. It has nothing to do with luck. So I misspoke, all right? So this thing's gonna crawl back up. What does it mean business? It's a tricky one too. Might be getting shorted here. There's no shares for me though. There's a bid down at 42. Let's see what it does. A couple of cents in there for a scalp at least, not bad. Resumption on the other stock. It's about a minute away. We can watch I'll watch it at F W A C. We got less than a minute. I have a really small share size though because I'm not not super sure about this volume right now. We're at fifteen seventeen. Ten seconds. Four, three, here we go. What is this, a 15 minute halt? What is the halt code here? Is it even volatility? I could check. Let's see. Yeah, it's saying volatility. Yeah, of course, this one is halted back up as I'm distracted. Jeez, Louis. Uh, at least it brings opportunity. That's a good thing. And I've missed the front sight twice. Assuming, you know, hopefully there's more front sight here, but not good to miss this one and then all this one again. Sometimes these green candles, these are the, you know, this, this is what makes the day for you. Capturing a good trade in here. And maybe you get yourself up something and then, you know, at least you're, you're looking okay. Faster or looking at the wrong stocks. So opportunity will cost as we know. It's such a long list here too of things that are potentially in play, right? TUP, ALR, MYND, GDRX, which is still fighting. And it's honestly probably been a decent stock. FWAC still halted, CHNR, and a few more. So five coming back down a bit. So O one for FWAC potentially O one. This one here will be 01 and 19, the other one will be 01 and 14. But I'll I'll watch YELL at this point.
I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to order entry windows, you know, in case it's really strong. I do want to push size. At least I'll have something with some size. For now, I'll just do smaller size, and then if we can see some good action, I'll size up right away. We got about 19 seconds. Or is my math wrong? Is it 01? It's actually 01. Okay. Okay, now we have a minute. There we go. My math a little off right there. 01 and 19 seconds. Ay, ay, ay. Guys, be sure to take a look at those TraderView links later on if you are using TraderView and are in need of a discount, which we all are in need of a little bit of a discount from time to time. Y E L L, here we go. We got about 10 seconds. There's a lot of bits here. Let's see what it does. Okay, not quite. Only green 120, okay. Not awesome. All level. Next all level. So that's at 44 and it's there, but we need bigger bids. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. The ads. All right, I'm gonna ease off a little bit, size down a bit too. 41, too many scratch trades. It's like it's struggling. 38 by 39. The other one is halted down. I have the attempt. I'm going to go short. Are we going to pull back here? Or am I delusional? Not going to hold it. It might not have been a bad short, but not trying to hold it. I feel like it should have been up faster, right? So we are going to come back down. I needed to hold that a little bit. It's heavy up there, man. It's a little heavy. But it's good to know that we have shares. That's great to know. So whenever this is on the backside, if I remember, I can probably get a nice trade.
The halt up would be at 53 if we could see it. At this point, I'd rather see the halt up. You know, these entries here are a little tricky. Where's the bounce? Well, I'll get back in a little higher. So can we see it this time? Okay. Can we get locked in here? Can we get locked in? We need the, this to be locked in. They're selling, but there's buyers and it's not. It's not 56. Come on, can we get locked in this time? So 55, there's 56. This is good, we're seeing bids, we're seeing bids, we're seeing big bids, this is good. It looks like we'll get locked in, unless there's like a massive seller. All right, here we go. So now this will provide some resumption trades again. And I'm really, I'm ready, I'm, I don't mind big size here. I think this one has proven that it's the strong stock. And looking at the daily chart, I'd say there's no major resistance up until the 200 EMA, which is at 244. So if this is going to really be strong, this is where the day is going to really start for me here. A little late, but better late than never as they say. Now it's time to go full power. So this is the third halt, but it's not the third halt in a row, right? It, it wasn't back to back to back. There's been candlesticks in between. Granted, we are a little extended, yes. But, you know, whenever you're trading a halted stock, it's always extended. So it comes down to if you can recognize the proper price action uh, and you know it depends on, on strategy right some people have different strategies that they're looking for um, but I'm looking for something very specific every time there's a resumption if I don't see that what I'm what I want to see right if you go to our chapters and those halts I don't see what I want to see I'm not going to touch it but if I see what I like I'll be willing to take the trade and I'll be willing to accept the risk of course if it still happens to be a loser Y E L L, so we got halted at 06, so at 11 and 4 seconds. So, you know, we kind of have to wait till like uh, when did this start moving? 950, 953. Yeah, sometimes you got to wait till 10 o'clock, sometimes it's 10 30, some other days 11 o'clock, right? before something starts to really move. So we're small green, you know, can we see something to get ourselves going here? FWAC, really light volume, dollar share spread. In fact, it's, I'm not gonna even look at this one. Let's make sure to have small size there so we don't have accidents. Hopefully the uh hopefully you guys in uh MMU here in the Discord are doing well on this stock. Likewise for the other traders here on YouTube. Whichever stocks you guys might be trading, I do know some of you guys might be watching SLFI, some others, maybe some large caps. So hopefully the overall market is doing well. It looks like it's a little flat, but 
yeah hopefully we're doing well and you guys are seeing some good trades how far will we go So again at 11 and 4 seconds. Brad, are you red today? If you have to shut it down or size down, remember there are always options. For me, it's been a slow day myself, man. You know, 163. Scratch trade. For those of you watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Let's see how many people we have. Our viewer to like ratio, we have 480 and 90 likes. Man, this is so sorry. That viewership to like ratio is absolutely reprehensible. So be sure to hit that thumbs up. And let's get ready for some beautiful trades here. Y-E-L-L, here we go. A couple of seconds. 10 seconds and counting. We're halted at 156. What will it be? Three, two, here we go. Well, oh, oh, it's gonna go, it's gonna break. Can we hold though? Price action, I'm gonna use off. The price action is not the cleanest here. 37. High of day. Can we see high of day? Ay, ay, ay. Fifty one by fifty two. It's trying, but you know, doesn't seem very convincing here. Take my couple of cents. I am going to try and short it when I can. If I can get a good short, I don't mind. I don't mind at all, actually. Lows are 38. There might be a nice support trade here, potentially. Okay. That should be a good fill. What's happening? Is it losing steam? 47 by 48? Like, is it struggling here? This, this for me is right expected to have, like, been, you know. Yeah, I'll seize off again. I'd expect more, like, of a volume push there. C close to a high of the attempt, right? From 50 to 53 versus 56. But it's like nobody bought it for high of day. So, you know, here we are. But we held up the low at 38 nicely. A 
Let's see if they want to fill these shares down here. Or maybe not. There's a bid down there sitting. But if it wants to go right now, I mean, I don't mind, right? Let's see what it does. This could be a good opportunity here. No, well, somebody's going to buy our cover. It's going to bounce up a bit. It's brewing. It's cooking. I'm going to still be somewhat moderate. Come on, can it be so can it be a little bit more decisive? Uh. Hmm. Okay, waiting. Forty six by forty seven. It's pretty healthy here. It's pretty healthy, right? The stock is pretty healthy right now, I think. You know, it's just a matter of just getting in somewhere where you feel comfortable and that you like. I'm asking myself how aggressive do I want to be here because I could be more aggressive. Um, but it also depends on what kind of pullback this is, you know. Contemplating. But I always have a risk in mind regardless. But right now we're going to see what it does. Ended up going for smaller size. Is the crystal ball working today? Are the setups working today? Right. There is a halt down. That's a 32. That's the only thing I'd be concerned about here. Uh, other than that, if it's a losing trade, then okay. Time. There's a minute left in candlestick. Sharks are afraid here. This is where the short sellers start to get afraid because of how well we're holding up the lows. So we'll see if it's able to 
curl back to the upside. KB, this is where I start to say KB. Are the bulls seeing what I'm seeing here? Are the bulls looking to take the trade? Or is the pastor delusional and on an island by himself? The volume has not hit yet, so I'm still waiting for volume to the buy side. Is this it? Is this the volume? Is it coming in here? It's a little sporadic. We got 45, then 42. And this is the longest I've been in one of these five minute setups in a long time. Do we have the new cowboy? Yeah, we do. I might have to prepare for a, uh, we'll see. I'm going to reduce my risk a little bit. Let's, let's actually reduce it quite a bit. And then if I need to re-average, I will, because I still like it. When I give it a sec, I feel like it's lingering too much, though. So I'm going to wait, and then I'll look to re-average, bigger size. Eight, thirty-nine. There's a chance I'd miss it if it just rips up, you know, immediately. I will say that I cut the trade before it hit my risk, which is not good. But generally, when this type of price action is like this, I do not like it lingering into the new candle at the lows. In fact, when there's about a minute and a half in the previous candle, I'd like to see us starting to curl, but you know that wasn't happening. So. You know, there's a new low by one cent. And was that the bottom? I'm just going to throw out a position just in case it is. We better stop playing with these terrible fills. Talk the relentless nicely here and take me to the moon. Sharks are scared, they're panicking here. Raphael, don't you know? Raphael in the chat room right now is going to be quiet after he sees that big red to green there. Guys like Raphael covering their positions right now. He's probably laughing if he's listening in. All right, can we get the hive day and then a new uh, into the into the halt at fifty six? Is that possible? It's part of why stopping out before your risk isn't really the best thing to do, you know. And because my cost base is so good, I'll hold shares here if it gets locked in. Ooh, that was close. It was almost a false halt. All right. So that was a great trade. 
let's see, is Raphael in there? His last message was at 10.07. For those people who that, that don't know for a little bit of context, Raphael is actually like a bigger short seller that hangs out in here sometimes. He's probably not even watching the stock, but you know, just, just for good fun. But in hindsight, it would have been better to hold the entire position all the way to this level, right? But, you know, you just never know how far the stock is going to go. If we can get up to 50 and then it fails. So I just sold a little bit at like 52 and then 54. Oh, wow. TUP. Yeah, so every time I'm watching it, one stock, the other stocks are just... Going crazy. It looks like it was decent. Although the chart and the price action is two different things sometimes. But beautiful wedge here. I don't know. I think this is one to add to the classes. What do you guys think? Although we did cut that trade before our risk initially it's still you know decent so we got halted at 24 the resumption should be at 29 22 assuming it is a five minute halt When I sold, my plan was to buy back lower because I liked the five minute setup and I was thinking maybe it's going to make a new low and then try and reclaim, let's say 36, maybe 35 below us and immediate volume back to like 39, 40 and then maybe the move starts. And in, if I'm in 36, 37, I can even add 40 or 39 and double the position to 20,000 or something, but it didn't work out like that. It, it went to 37, made a new low. The volume started to come. So at 42, I'm like, okay, I'm going to take a position here just to see. And I'm okay losing on that trade. But the position is just to see if it is actually working. And if it is, then I'm going to add. I, I only added one more time just, to, you know, because there's still risk in case it fails at 44, 45, which is what it rejected the last time. It, you know, if I add too aggressively to 45 and then we flush back to 39, you know, you're in 10,000, 15,000 shares, and then you're down six cents. If it doesn't hold and it flushes again, you know, you're down a thousand dollars for me in that situation. So it's like, okay, if we break, okay, I'll add, and then, you know, we kind of see how it goes. Again, 29, 22 for resumption, 29, so we got a minute and 20 seconds. If you're watching on, on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, guys, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're a new viewer, consider subscribing to the channel. For those of you in Discord, you guys can head on over and hit the thumbs up as well. If you're free and not actively trading, TUP also moving up, but we are watching resumption here. See how it goes. Y-E-L-L, halted up to 57, and we got less than a minute to go. Ten seconds, Y E L L, ten seconds. One fifty seven. Here we go.
kind of late on that, but all right. Nine. We should see the next halt. Or maybe not. A little slow there. Eight. Seven. Come on, it's it's kind of doing what it did again last time where it's just like it got just, you know, so choppy. So I'm going to ease off. We, we don't want to give back here. The goal is to just preserve. So slow it down a bit. We got a bit coming in there. The halt levels are quite far away. It's up at 81, but I'd say that's decently far for its price range. We are up from the resumption level. I am being patient here, just waiting for something good. You guys know I like it high or low. Either or, as long as the stock is strong, it can hold up. Bill is not the best here. I might want to re average. It's a little bit better. Of course. Damn, I, I kind of botched that. Hmm. Okay. All right, time to ease off. How, how, how do I botch that so bad? You know, in this situation, it is good to put out some limit orders, to be honest. You know, just have them sit. GDRX is giving back $400 there. Jeez. And what, in, in, in such a tight spread, it honestly is kind of ridiculous. Spreads are so tight and we're losing that much. That last sequence felt like a winning sequence, but pushed back down. So being patient, you know, maybe we see like a five minute pullback here. Mm -mm -mm. Still looking good though, still looking good. So just being patient. I should have went short even if I was thinking faster. If we see a halt down here too, I'd expect, although I don't think that'll happen, I'd expect a uh, quick You know, it's just so trading, I tell you. It's this perfect balance between being patient and being aggressive, being right, because you have to be right as well. Like, a lot of the times, I'm not fully confident in the area, but what gives me confidence a lot of the times is just knowing I could stop out for a loss. That's not a big loss. But like right here, you know, it's like, what does the stock want to do? Like the halt down is at 51. 
Like, are we going to see a bigger flush here, or is this the bottom, right? I, I, I'll throw out a position. I'll throw out a position. Let's see. You know, if I take a three cent loss, okay, whatever. As long as it doesn't flush down into the halt, I guess, right? And if it does, we accept the risk anyways. The red candle. Okay, there's a huge bid there. Let's see. A lot of selling coming down to this bid. A lot of buying and okay, rarely moved though. I think I'm gonna ease off. Maybe we get the halt down. I don't know. It's tricky. I think a lot of it comes down to the people that's in from earlier. Are they gonna hold here or are they just gonna take off some profits? Like people who are in at 30, 25, you know, 40. Are they gonna just take some profits here or are they just gonna keep holding this thing? Because if, if there's not enough selling, then it holds up and then we crawl back up. And then the short sellers start to cover closer to the highs. Five. Gotta have some backbone with these entries, man. The halt level is not as close. The halt level is not as close. It's at 45. The halt up is at 55. Well, excuse me, 75. So, you know, and, and is this, is this our low here? If it is, then, you know, there's only one thing coming, which is upside. Short sellers are not out of the clear just yet. They still are afraid here. Hive the current candle, 60. I mean, hey, you know, we're bouncing so far, right? Can we see some scalps over these levels? Come on. They're going to be in trouble. I think they're going to be in trouble here again. Let's see. Let's let's see how well it ends up holding up. It's like the volume is coming back. <laughs> got to be got to have some backbone to those entries down there, man. So, I'll try and scalp on this on the way up here if we can see some good uh fast price action. Thirty thousand share buyer at fifty eight. Now you gotta ask yourself: Is that somebody thinking the stock is gonna go higher? You know, because if people are buying to hold that aggressively, you know, are we gonna curl back up? I might need to wait here. If we're stuck with tight spread, we sure still are losing a lot of scratch trades. This now I'm I'm much more comfortable. I'm, I'm gonna take size here. I'm much more comfortable here than I was before. So if let's see how it does. I feel much better about where we are. Well, I'm not, gonna get a, I'm not even going to get a chance to take sides. It's already pushing up a little bit. I do have another order entry window with big sides if I have to, you know, get get a little bit aggressive. The new candle is 30 seconds out. I'd love to see us closing above 60 here. Okay, 
KB, this is it once again. Are the Bulls coming outside for this beautiful setup? Are the Bulls coming outside? Time. The new candle. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get back in. The new candles here. What time? Time. Forty. You know, we still have to be careful of this being backside. So what's happening now is like a flag, a bear flag. But of course, I'm looking for the five minute candle to make a new high over 61. Now we need to hold up, you know, 48, 50, that type of area. So it's back down. So I'm going to look to get back in if it's going to hold again. Okay, now the short sellers are feeling a little bit better about themselves. Now that, you know, we're testing the lows again. But are we going to break down? Or are we going to hold up? So people like like, like that person that bought thirty thousand and fifty seven, you know, are people like that? Are they going to hold right here? If they hold, the stock should hold up. If all those people sell and people who are holding lower sell, then the stock breaks down, right? So let's see. There's some buying coming in, and then there's people like myself who'll be buying here, watching for the bounce back up low 51 so it's a bit of a double bottom and it's looking decent Oh, we see I shouldn't have sold it. I, I wanted I wanted it to come down more, so I'm gonna re-average. That's a risk, you know. I can miss the trades doing that. That's okay though. Come on. Just one quick move down and then back up would have been perfect. To be in with size two. So now here's a twenty thousand share buyer coming in again at fifty six. So there's a lot of people buying, right? Once this stock gets over 61, it's problems. YELL, -L. can we hold up the lows and get back over 61 for the five minute candle to make the new high? We also have to be careful of this being the backside, of course, because, you know, that's just reality. It's a possibility. It does end up breaking down here. We've held up twice already. So I'm still waiting to see, like, a breakdown and reclaim would be great. Fifty-two. Fifty one, fifty. I'm gonna take it. Small size. If I see buying a lot, well, okay, all right. It's a battle here. All right, let's see which way is it gonna be. It hasn't failed yet, which is good, but. It's quite interesting. It's like a tug of war, you know? Looking at the level two. Alright. You can always choose in this situation to get out of the way completely and not touch it. Uh, but it's not bouncing. I like the immediate bounce or the reclaim. I'll keep an eye though, but there's 48. So maybe the short sellers might be pulling through here. So now if you're long 
at 30,000 shares, 57, you know, are you still holding? Or are you going to say, you know what, I'm just going to cut it here, All right? So once those type of people start to sell is where the selling kind of really comes in. And then the stock's just, you know, 45 and then 40, maybe there's some dip trades. It's still lingering here. So I'm still watching it. Usually when they're flushing down, it's like, you know, we're already at 42. So it could be a gradual breakdown, but if not, I, I want to keep an eye here just in case still. Come on. Is there a hidden seller here? It would seem so. So somebody could be shorting right here. Okay, it's going to go 51. That's an aggressive short though, right? I mean, to be, aver to be averaging in that low to the market price. Usually if you're going short, you want to be short at 74 in this situation, right? As high as possible. So those type of short sellers like that alone can help add to the balance because let's say this gets back to 55, their average is too low, they start to feel the pressure, you know, and literally they start to feel the squeeze. So it's not over yet. Nothing is very decisive in the price action. So I think I'll just stay on the sidelines for now, size down a bit, and then we'll see. I still have an order entry window with bigger size if I need, but I'll size down for now. The short sellers are, you know, it's just like, it's just like us, man. It's like whenever the stock is, it's the same thing, right? Whenever, whenever I get caught in like one of those big flushes, you know, the short sellers are smiling, right? And when I say I, just as as in like the bulls, right? The people who are going along. When we get caught in the big drop down, the short sellers are having a great day. And, and you know, vice versa, right? When stock squeezes up like this out of a halt, for us, it's a parade. So there's like a balance. And, there, and there's a lot of short sellers, a lot more than we actually think. You know, we're doing research, just watching stuff online, podcasts, YouTube videos, even. You start to see so many people just, you know, they don't even care to go along. It's just shorting everything. Some of them are doing very well, too, on some of these same stocks. But, you know, they're patient for the right areas, right? Because as much as this stock has went up, a disciplined short seller could have still made money here on the pullback areas. You know, we did go from 120 down to a low of 95. And then we had a high point of 56 and we dropped down to a low of 37. And then from 74, we're down here at 50. The stock has been uptrending and it's been more bullish than it's been weak, but still opportunities for both sides. time it's 48 you know do i shut it down here and maybe just come back later it's a good day so you know i don't want to overdo it so but we'll see i wonder if that's coming through on the speaker it's like uh i got some my my younger siblings jumping up and down up there and they i but it's a good day, you know, it's small, small green. I felt like the first, uh, uh, let's say 35 minutes of the open, you know, very tricky. I missed YELL up until like 10 a.m. So definitely missed out a lot of opportunities today. But it was a slow day until this one started. So... Are we curling back up here? I'm going to throw out chairs just to see. So, 
I'm okay with a small loss here. But in case it does start, okay, small loss. In case that does start to move, you know, we can be in a position to like add and maybe take some profits. But 53 again, so it's still trying. And so this is why it's dangerous to go short so low because there was a seller at 50 assuming it was not profit taking and somebody going short if this gets back to 60 they start to feel like you know they're down 10 cents already you know where are you going to stop out high of day and that type of trade it's not a great risk to reward trade so i could only assume they have a tight stop if they're managing risk if their stop is all the way at two dollars then you know that's how that, that's how you can blow up your account right yeah that video was quite hilarious I, I might actually show that video on the channel here today the video is being posted in discord Yeah, I think I'm going to shut it down, right? I think I'm going to shut it down. But let's watch this video before I head out. I'm going to put the uh, audio on here. Sally, how much did you make today? Still making bread, but... This is how we'll, this is how we'll shut it down for the day. So if you guys didn't know, uh, I ended up having a viral video on TikTok. I think it has like 10 million views or something like that now. And there's a bunch of people who've been uh, like reacting to it, laughing about it. Um, it's quite interesting, you know. This this video, the comment section, is a reminder to how rare and hard it really is. To be able to, you know, be whether it's trading or a different business field or, or sector, you know, see success. And, you know, to the average person, you know, it, it just does not seem real. I mean, you know, I'm here, it's 10, it's 10 50 a.m. I'm, I'm up a thousand bucks today. It is kind of crazy. It is, it is crazy. It's completely crazy, right? But it's also pretty real at the same time um so yeah let's let's check out this video i'm gonna put up the audio for those of you who are still trading and and you know you guys can mute the video if you you know if it will be distracting but here we go let's see hold on we'll bring this up to 80 percent. there we go sabe how much did you make today Still making bread, but I'm up 3K. Hell yeah, boys. We got Zavi. He's up 3K, still making bread. We're chilling here in mom's kitchen. We got the fold-up chairs. We got the fold-up tables. Let's see how the rest of the gang did. Crispy, 9K. Crispy with the world's most unfortunate nickname, my lord. He's got the uh, PlayStation 5 headset and the Lenovo ThinkPad here. Getting after it, pounding the financial markets. Tim. I just realized this video is tagged at Wall Street, New York. That is hilarious. Day ever, 4,400. Tim, best day ever. Let's fucking go. Drew. 3.4K. Drew absolutely killing it with the iPad. Marcelo. 30. Marcelo just woke the fuck up. He's sitting on the couch. Where's his laptop and monitor? 3,200. Let's go, boys. 300. And the pastor. And the pastor, the man of God, the administer of the Eucharist. 2,500 on the day. Let's fucking go. The relentless trade. I do apologize for prof I forgot there was profanity, but yeah, uh, this the video has been going crazy, and um, there's a ton of people like this reacting to it. But you know what we're all of this is to say, like what we're doing here every day, you know, we cannot take for granted. Even if we're not profitable yet, you know, even if we're red, even if we're going through the struggle, you know, we cannot take it for granted. 
you know, being a being able to come in here every day and give ourselves a legit chance at something great, I, I think that's all we can really ask for. Right. So, you know, it comes down to then, you know, putting in our best effort. You know, each and every day, can we put in the work? Can we do everything that is absolutely in our power and necessary to try to give ourselves a good chance at being successful? You know, not cheating the game, but going all out. You know, how many people studied over the weekend? How many people actually went through charting? You know, how many people are showing up every day? How many people are being punctual? You know, how often are you coming in and, and what are you doing differently over time? What changes are you making? How are you adjusting? Are you making adjustments? Are you deep diving into your metrics? You know, are you using Excel or any sort of uh, um, software out there to track your trading? Are you screen recording your trades? Are you reviewing? Are you reaching out for help? You know, are you a part of a community, right? That is doing what you want to do. You know, are you following something that makes sense, that works, that's credible? So, you know, again, let's make sure we put in the work. Let's make sure we do everything that's absolutely necessary to be able to become a profitable trader. We know it's not guaranteed, but there are people like myself, Marcelo, you know, you guys saw the video, Save, Crispy, right? There's people out here who are doing it. There's people in other communities doing it. There's people out there trading large caps, options, different ways of doing it. So, you know, hopefully you guys can uh, put in the work that's necessary and see some success. So TUP, let's go TUP. Just two winning trades there, kind of trying to get acquainted. Well, let's see what it does. There's a lot of buyers here coming in at four. I definitely need to be more aggressive too. So let's see if it does give a new height. Four will be break down but below four first. Well, oh, there's a ton of buyers there. So are they going to continue to buy or are we going to pull back? I got to take off the chime because I did turn up the volume and messed with the audio a little bit. <laughs> it's actually not bad. But the drop could be crazy. Ninety seven.
We should see a push over 10 at this rate. Which is actually pretty good. It's actually really good. Time. Cattle's about to close. 15 seconds. It should be pushing 15, 20, 25. It has the potential. Hey, I don't mind taking the 20 bucks at a time, all right? But I'd love to see some more separation, though. Honestly, down at $5, down at $4. Jeez, that, I wish I could kind of go back. That was so good, man. Every time it went to 4 it just bounced up 5, 10 cents. Every time, like 5 times straight. All right, so lows at 08. YELL might not be finished, but maybe it's an afternoon stock. Come on, come on. Delayed, delayed. Such a delayed bounce right there.
buyers sellers are getting bought up buyers are coming in but you know again it's this slow kind of back and forth with small dips so i think just taking the small couple of cents for me might just be the best way here There's a, I think there's a bid. There's a small bid. Or maybe not, no. I thought there was a bid. Can we break down these sellers? No, not quite. It's trying for that new hive day. A C A X U. It's no way I should have had a high fill there. Let's see 35 out of this. 24. Where are those bulls? Where are those bulls? 30. Alright, maybe the breakout trades might not be the best. 30, 31, not quite 35. You just have to, it's like, the, it's like there's some small pullback trades that are like working. The high of day trades, not so much because they're not pulling away by a lot. It's only like a five cent breakout, three cent breakout at, at a time. Oh, 195 is not bad, but it's also not great. Four dollar bounce that range, man. That bounce that we were seeing. Thirty-three. Twenty thousand share buyer at thirty, just sitting. 100,000 share seller again, or getting uh, getting bought up, which is good. So the stock is just pushing through. Second one. So there's some big sellers here. Big shares unwinding. There's a minute, 15 seconds left in this five minute candle. Uh, you know, are we a little extended? Maybe we haven't really had a pullback since 02. So. A C A X U.
time to sit down. Do I have, have the mic muted, I think? Okay, now we're good. So here's a pullback. Is this a healthy pullback? I think so. I mean, the one minute there's a small wick, but five minutes looks great. Question is, how low is it going to go? How low are we going to go? GT. I'm going to stick around and see if uh, it holds up on this pullback. I haven't checked in on the uh, Discord. I'll check in right now. Checking in on the Discord. Checking in, checking in. So we got a low of 28. Yeah, that video, I tell you, man. So we got a low of 28, just waiting around to see. Twenty-seven. There seems to be a few buyers here. But I'll keep waiting. There's about a minute left in the candle. couple of cents let's see how well it continues to do of course i'll be scalping that worked out fairly good for those lows man surprised actually i worked out very well it should have actually been more proactive down there Come on, show us that boost, that boost through the level. So 42, what was I have there, uh, 60? Okay.
It's brewing. Now we're I, I, those trades are so frustrating. You're in. There's no nothing. No buying, and then I, as I sell, the buying comes. Son of a gun. Mm -mm -mm. 43 for the high to current, high to last, 46 on the one. Yep, let's wait. I'm gonna keep taking small stabs here and there. I might ease off even too, depending. This area isn't bad, but I don't think it's great either. Come on, come on, come on. Ay, ay, ay. All right, there's a couple cents. Can't not gonna hold the level. I should have flattened there. I should have could have been flat. Ah, uh, scratch trade. Clicking twice took an eternity there. Jeez. But that's the rejection of the five minute candle to make the new high. We would have wanted to see 55, 60, 65. It might try again. It might try again, but we'll see. Time. Let's see what this does here. It might be a bigger pullback. No, people are buying it up. People are buying it up. People are buying it up. So I think a break of 50, or at least an attempt. Let's see how it goes. Come on, come on, come on. Where are those bulls? Can we see it? There's not, there's no sellers there, man. There's no sellers there at all. We should be mooning here. Good. Good. Well, 
Greta. Greta. Come on. <laughs> what is this? What is this price action, man? I, I think I'll shut it down soon. If, if it doesn't get over 60 here. Ay, ay, ay. It's, it's such a weird. The stock's such a weird price action. Come on, great. Okay, there's just a few sellers there. Ten thousand share bid. Another bid coming in, so I'll jump back in. Seventy-three. Skipping. Maybe we get into a halt here for lucky. Not the best spell there, let's cut it scratch. When I guess like that, we want to see that halt, man. That halt would be crazy on this. High of 73. I think the halt would be, you know, pretty good. Mm -mm -mm. Should have known better. The one thing with trading that I do like though is that it's so easy to be accepting of what happens if you do what you plan to do, right? Regardless of the results, it's like it'll be easier to accept, you know, the risk or losing trade. I find myself getting frustrated only when I do something I didn't plan to do or something like impulsive, you know, like whenever I just say, hey, this is what I want to do to myself and then I do it, even if it's a, lo a losing trade, it doesn't matter. So, so far, so good here. Think or swim lagging? What's that? Every time there's a seller, we've been buying it up. So let's see. There's another one. There's some. There. This has to be like insiders or something, man. Or or the stock is just getting. You know, we're. Let's see. What was the highs? Okay, never mind. Yeah, there's a history here. The stock was pretty high up uh, a couple of months ago, a couple of years ago. So people like they're just unwinding. Big positions, 100,000 shares, 130,000 shares. They're popping up every now and again. So we're just waiting patiently. For those of you on YouTube, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. If you are a new viewer, consider subscribing to the channel. We're buying up those shares. Let's back down. Time twenty five eleven twenty five here on the East Coast market time. Are we going to be able to uh get a new 
hive day here. There's a huge bid. I'm gonna go short. Is that shares? Nope. No shares. Until it breaks the height, I think I'm gonna just be ease, ease off here. Just waiting patiently. Is this it? This might be it. Oh, well, it's all over the place. Well, we're at the shop. Looks like we're getting a five minute pullback, and maybe this is a good place to call it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where are we at? 15. Not a bad day for this small size. Uh, yeah, we're out of here. I don't know, maybe this thing keeps going, but I think it's been a good day. Pastor signing out. So for those of you on YouTube, if you guys are going to 4 p.m. and going distance, continue to be patient, continue to be diligent, continue to be smart about your trading, be disciplined, and I'll catch you guys in the recap, which will be out around 4.30 p.m. market time. So for everyone else, uh, if you are heading out, hopefully you've had a good day already. Uh, as we know, it's all about the discipline, the patience. You know, you can end the day red, but if you're disciplined throughout the day, if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, it's still a good day. We just make the adjustments and we come again. Um, you know, and even for those people who might be flat, for those people who might be green, you know, it doesn't end there. You know, we have to continue to study up, continue to focus up. That way we can at least try and, you know, maintain and, and keep pushing higher. So with that being said, we all have work to do here, right? We all have homework. Uh, let's make sure to review today's footage and let's come back even better tomorrow. So stay safe, stay green, stay positive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bright and early tomorrow morning and again in the recap.